Now that we have our ideal client profile, along with a good understanding of where our client hangs out online, educates themselves, and markets their business, we can now craft a way to communicate. Marketing can be simplified as communicating what you have to offer to those who need it. Learning how to explain why you are the preferred solution is the goal of this lesson. In website design and development, there are a few ways you can do this effectively. Through your own website sales pages, individual landing pages for segments of your niche, and language in your proposals. The first place most people are going to go to learn more about you is your website. Your website needs to communicate effectively what it is you do, which is helping them with a solution to their pain points. Let's walk through building out a successful sales page for your niche. If you'd like some extra training on building your sales page with WordPress blocks, check out the Skill Up video, Building Sales Pages with WordPress Blocks. You'll find the link in the lesson materials. We'll begin with their unique value proposition. This is where all the hard work of researching in our past lesson to find your niche and your ideal client pays off. Your unique value proposition is going to be the most featured heading on your home sales page that tells what makes you unique. Your UVP needs to speak to your niche. It needs to be something that your niche will feel is congruent with their needs. Here are some examples of unique value propositions for Sue and Tom. Sue's website says, Sue's Solutions, we offer websites that make sharing resources online safe and private. Tom's Reads, Tom's Tech Team, taking your location to the cloud to support more in-person and online sales. Knowing Sue and Tom's niches, you can see how their unique value proposition is different from how they define their niche. It talks to their ideal client profile and makes it about them. Once you have your UVP, you can then build a featured section at the top of your website and include it there. Underneath the UVP, go ahead and jump right into those solutions that you offer your niche, focusing on their pain points. For Sue, she may say, websites that make resource sharing easy. Websites that can handle high traffic loads. Websites that have beautiful, easy to learn back ends. This section is all about focusing on benefits. You can add descriptions underneath each bite sized benefit. Descriptions can go into a bit of depth to explain why the benefit is important, highlighting the pain points. Once your visitor has gone through these first two sections of your sales or landing page, you have successfully communicated with your niche and gotten their attention to read further. At this point, you can build out the rest of the page with an about section to specify you or your company's experience, your social proof, and your call to action. The call to action is what you would want them to do next, like book a call, request a quote, or find out more, taking them to a more detailed screening step. The style of your site and the visuals you use can also be specific to your niche. Pay attention to the types of images you found when researching your niche, their tone and style. Consider the same, whether it was stock photography or creative animated graphics, was the tone playful and casual or professional? Now, many website designers and developers will not use the main homepage of their website as their specific sales page for everyone in their niche. In fact, you can make specific landing pages for smaller segments of your niche and use these with outreach or as destinations when running ads or sending referrals. These specific landing pages give you more freedom to dial in on specific pain points that may not be shared by the entire niche. Those landing pages will also allow you to use keywords that will help your SEO, embed specific videos and multimedia, as well as tailored calls to action. Although it's easy to sidestep all these exercises and research keywords for your niche, it's important that we implement the research you did with your client profile and niche outreach. This will make your landing page feel more authentic and genuine, as if you were talking to them at a party or a meetup. Your sales and landing pages should feel like a familiar conversation, saying the same things they are already saying among their peers. That point leads up to proposals. Proposals are the ultimate communication between you and your niche. And yet, more web designers and developers view it as simply delivering the quote for the project. Proposals offer you a way to explore the solutions you are offering to pain points. Although we are not going to dig too deep on writing proposals in this lesson, we will take the opportunity to show how your proposal can leverage all you know about your niche. 
Each proposal should have an overview section. Begin with an overview that repeats back to them the pain points and benefits they're looking for in going with you as their web designer or developer. Sue is sending a proposal to the fitness coach. In her overview, she states, Joe's Fitness needs an online platform for his training students to frequently upload their meal plans, progress, and workout reports. Joe's highest priority is ease of use, as well as a secure and private portal. Joe needs the front end of the website to load quickly and protect the information he shares with his students, including what they uploaded and Joe's recommendations for their progress. A proposal should also have a solution section. The section will list all the solutions you are offering that directly addresses the pain points and benefits in your overview. Sue's proposal to Joe would then state, Sue's solutions include a CMS backend with a login restriction that requires third-party verification, a well-designed front end that pulls a user's meta information from the database to display progress specific to that logged in user, security measures that will require users to be approved before their account is created. As you can see with Sue's proposal, she is building a WordPress website that will use the WordPress database and login features. You can see already that before we even talk about price, potential clients view your proposal and it immediately reminds them of their needs. You establish that you are the best person for the job because you understand their pain. All of this before you ever get to pricing or line items. When you communicate effectively from the sales page to the proposal, the proposal becomes an extension of your sales process. Your language is consistent and you begin to convert the projects you want.